Welcome to the Explosion Networks reacts to the first trailer for Nicholas Winding Refn's Winding Refn's TV series that's coming out. Too old to die young. Yes, he's moved over. He's now doing a TV series. Uh, after his last movie he did was Neon Demon, and now we're going to be getting this one right here. So uh, I'm a fan. Drive is one of my favorite movies. I like a whole bunch of, of his other movies, including um uh, his first one he did with uh, Mads Mikkelsen, which I'm fucking mental blank on the name on. But I'm such a big fan, I can remember the name. Um, Bronson? No, Pusher. Pusher, thank you. Pusher, yes. The Pusher trilogy. And then I like Bronson too. Bronson's an interesting movie. Is one way to <laughs> describe that one. Uh, have you w watched much of his stuff? Just Drive. Just Drive, yeah. <laughs> on, on what do you want to watch? Yeah, we talked about it. Uh, also interesting, it's co-created by Ed Brubaker, the comic book writer of like stuff like uh, criminal and other like indie sort of crime series. I think he... what's the one our good friend Tom is always talking about? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Oh, kill, um, kill, kill, kill or be killed. Kill or be killed. Yes, yes, yeah. Kill yeah, be, I'm pretty sure he did that. Yep. Yeah. Um, all right, so what is what is Too Old to Die Young about? Yeah. It explores the criminal underbelly of Los Angeles by following characters' existential journeys from being killers to becoming samurais in the City of Angels. It's, it's a setup. Yeah, I didn't read this description <laughs> fully when I looked it up. <laughs> You're like, am I reading this right? Is this correct? Is that... <laughs> Cool. <laughs> cool. All right, let's watch the. Memorize the end, man. Let's watch the trailer. <laughs> Got Mice Teller over here. Looking all badass. I killed a woman the other night. I didn't feel any guilt or remorse. I just felt empty. Is that how you feel? No. Amazon series, I think, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah. People aren't who you think they are. There's someone else, too. Someone you don't get to see. What's going on? It's cop stuff, sweetheart. <laughs> you weren't supposed to kill her. I don't know what to tell you. That wasn't my fault. Nobody steals from the cartel. You caused this. You'll work it off. I can't do that. Are you in trouble? I don't really feel like talking about it. Do you trust him? Yes. Good. Because I see beautiful things in him. Society's falling. It's all collapsing around us. Soon our cities will be washed away by floods. Buried in sand. Burned to the ground. That's why you found me. As the world fractures. Someone has to be there to protect innocence. I want the worst guys you got. There's a lot happening in this trailer. Yeah. I thought it was going to end there. Yeah, same. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh how i would uh, sum up that trailer <laughs> a fair bit of neon lighting yeah <laughs> and that what were you, yeah what, what are your thoughts 
it's intriguing. Uh, I'm not fully on board yet. Uh, we did get a glimpse of samurais. I don't <laughs> <laughs> You're like, where are the samurais? I'm like, where the freak are these samurais? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, really interesting. It's hard to... It, it's really hard to tell, obviously. It's a it's probably like 10 episode Yeah, I was, just, I was just checking. I was trying to just check that. It says, yeah, 10 episodes. How do you condense that down and not sort of spoil everything that they're going for? Yeah. Um. Well, it's like... It's funny because it's a quite lengthy trailer, but at the same time, I have no fucking idea what's going on. <laughs> no no <laughs> which, idea. Which is good. It's it's the trailer's confusing. Like obviously, like he's a corrupt cop, I guess. Like yeah, somewhat he's working a for the mob, cop working for the cartel or something. Yeah, and then he kills someone he's not supposed to kill one, and then obviously things in the underworld start to go haywire following that with him and other people and stuff. Yeah, that's all I could gather from that which is fine because the trailer is more of a tone piece than a obviously story setup thing so uh and it looks like uh his pr- previous work you know some beautiful shots there neon lighting uh close-ups people dry you know it's it's all looks like previous movies and stuff yeah. he's done um it's interesting seeing it'll be interesting to watch miles teller in this and see how he goes in a in that role in a series like i haven't i've never watched miles teller in a tv show i don't even know if he's done yeah, uh, so. he did like what he did the fahrenheit thing or whatever it was and that's probably the closest th- like tv movie thing i guess he's he's got to something outside of a like a cinema release i guess i think maybe he did some tv movie thing i think um jenna malone's returning after neon demon she just worked with him on that so that's like the one carryover thing um i like it it's 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 hard. It's like I like it. I was on board anyway. Yeah. So fine, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I I'm intrigued. I'll definitely be watching it. Uh, the trailer doesn't. You, you can really sell someone who isn't open to that sort of tone and stuff. I guess on that trailer, if they're not, because it's like doesn't do much of job setting up with the story and stuff. But neither did neither do any any of these other trailers, to be honest. So I think that's fine. Uh, yeah. What do you what, what are your final thoughts? What are you what are you gonna rate it? Well, the other thing I noticed looking at IMDb is it's listing each episode as an hour and a half. Mm, really? Yeah. I mean, it's a possibility. So there's like ten mini movies. So who yeah. knows what this is gonna be? Really? That'd be crazy if they are. I mean, it could be. I, I don't. I. I mean, hold on. Let's, I mean, there's probably just no set length. I imagine. Let's do an on the fly quick uh, follow up on the number one resource in the the world, uh, which is Wikipedia. No, I can't see anything here. That's not helping. No, there's nothing on Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd, uh, let's do a follow up on. See, I don't think it's on, it's not on Prime. It's, I don't think it's on the Prime app as a coming soon thing either. Yeah. No. No. It's Good set Omens for is <laughs> June fourteenth. <14th. laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. So we'll have to wait. What are you going to give it? Mm. I'm going to give it one up, one down, but very close to two ups. I give it one up, one down. It, it, good trailer intrigues me, but it's, you know, it's still just a very like tone piece and it doesn't do a good yeah. job at setting up any sort of story or anything, which is kind of the grabbing point, obviously, you want from a trailer for the most part. So yeah, one up, one down. Uh, that is our Too Young to Die trailer uh, review for this one. If they pop another trailer, we'll probably come back and do another one. So make sure, head on over to ex- youtube.com slash explosion uh, youtube.com slash explosion which is where you're probably, probably watching this right now. If you're not, head on over there. Subscribe, like the video, see, see more of our reacts, and check out explosionnetwork.com, of course, and our movie podcast. What do you want to watch? We'll see you in the next one. <laughs>